Let us pray. Almighty God, you are our fortress and our strength, our help in ages past and our hope in years to come. We pray your blessings on the Joshua Chamberlain Society and its work of aiding all in All funds that we raise go directly to aiding our heroes. We are an all-volunteer board. The Joshua Chamberlain Society has the goal of aiding severely wounded military service members and families of killed in action members of our military who have sacrificed all in our service. We are also very excited to adopt our first hero, Corporal Jeremy Foles. During the year, we added an addition to his parents' home, which consists of an all hand cabinet, accessible bedroom, bathroom, laundry, closet, and storage for his medical supplies. Pam Ross, who will introduce our keynote speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor to present to you the Tennessee Commissioner of Veterans Affairs, Amy Baseball. You know, 1%. 1%. That is the number of people that serve in the military in the United States. 1%. The 99% can never, ever repay what we owe. But we can make sure that we always, always, always honor and remember the sacrifices of those great heroes like Jeremy, like Billy King, that we allow them to live in the rest of our lives as the heroes that they are. Jeremy and other wounded warriors still have so much that they can contribute as citizens of the United States of America. It's a pleasure to be with part of the Joshua Chamberlain Society and this bold, bold goal that they have to adopt for life. Jeremy's story, as with so many, is heart-wrenching. He enlisted in the Army at age 19, and after training was assigned to Bravo Company, 1327 at Fort Camp, Kentucky. He married in 2009. He had two children before he was deployed to Afghanistan in July 2010. On September 15, 2010, while on duty, he received sniper fire that entered his lower back and exited his upper chest. This changed Jeremy's life forever. <sighs> Having me, our hero, Corporal Jeremy Wolves. It's just nice to know that a place like the Joshua Chamberlain Society is willing to stand behind me after what I've had to go through and after my hardships to help me do the best to get on my feet again. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate it. Thank you. Please welcome our music ambassador, Mr. Phil Dildine, yeah. and the Stray Dogs of Nashville. was over. It's kind of what it felt like. Never, 
went that far, but as a soldier, you're trained to do certain things and to be the best of your ability and the, you know, army of one, the best guy out there on the ground. And when something like this happens to you, you no longer feel like you're a man. GCS made me feel like I can be a man again and I can survive and thrive and be normal and live in a society where I'm thanked instead of forgotten. It's a very important the contributions that JCS gives to us soldiers. It's phenomenally important what they do. It helps beyond belief 